Hey guys, so it's uh, day three here in Palm Springs. I uh, just taking a little walk here. Let me try to stabilize the camera a little bit better. Uh, just some final thoughts. Um, I love this city. I love this town. I suppose you could say more than a city because Palm Springs isn't really all that big. Um, one of the reasons why, and here I got the sun in the camera, is uh, maybe you'll catch behind me here. I'm going to spin around and try to give you an idea of the topography up behind me. And I've talked about this in, an, in another video. Um, it, this is just amazing to me. And it's amazing because it, uh, it's challenging. I look at that and I see challenge, but not in a threatening kind of way. Um, it's just cool. It's just really cool. It suggests that there's something more that can be done. Right, I look at that and I, I see that as uh, not an, it, well, I suppose you could say it's an obstacle, but something that doesn't intimidate me. Um, it pushes me out of my box when I look at that. And I think, man, that's just really cool. Okay, we're walking through the shade now, so you might not see my face very well. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it is beautiful down here. Um, a lot of Hollywood stars uh, came to this town. And, um, it also pushes the limits of uh, how I think uh, economically, monetarily. Um, I choose to associate with people in this town who push that box, that boundary for me. Um, there's an analogy I was thinking about when I was in the shower this morning that I'm <laughs> getting ready to leave for the airport that I wanted to share. And uh, that analogy is simply this. And this is one we can all relate to, because for most of us at one time in our lives, we have uh, been involved in, the, had the idea of getting, uh, improving our fitness, right? So we've gone to the gym and maybe signed up for a gym membership. If you were going to do that, you know, obviously you would research in gyms and find the ones that had the features that you wanted for the best price. But then what a lot of us do, and the reason, one of the reasons why so many people drop out of that is they go to the gym thinking they can figure it all out themselves without any mentorship whatsoever, without any assistance. Oh, well, I got this. I don't need any help, right? That's what they think. So they go to the gym and they go great guns thinking they need to lose the 30 pounds they just spent the last two years gaining in 30 days so they're bikini ready, right? Three months down the road. <laughs> Well, what happens is they're normally done in a month. Statistically, I mean, that's a true statistic. They're done in a month, and they don't go back to the gym for the rest of the year. The same can be said for, with regard to mindset, uh, the same can be said for business. A lot of people have the idea that uh, they're gonna go, and again, sorry for the shadow here, they're gonna go into business, and they're gonna be able to figure it out all on their own. Or maybe they're gonna think that, oh, we've got uh, such good systems in place that I can just learn everything I need to know from the systems, right? I don't need any mentorship whatsoever. So in case you're wondering what I'm doing down here in Palm Springs, when I say, oh, hey, I'm going to Palm Springs, it's that I have elected, my wife and I, to associate with individuals who are where we want to be in business. Um, we realize that they have things that we can take away from our association with them. Um, in both personal interaction and also um, in education that's being shared. So what are you doing? If you want something different, what are you doing that's different? Have you, are you doing anything different? Maybe you don't want anything different. Maybe you're what I've affectionately come to refer to as a non-entrepreneur, somebody who has no desire to change anything in their life with regard to finances, right? Non-entrepreneurs, I like that. Maybe you want to change, you recognize you need to change that you just don't know what to do. Hang around with some people who are where you want to be is what I would recommend. All right. 
or hang around maybe with somebody who is hanging around with people that are where you want to be. Somebody to expand your, maybe expand the box of your thinking. Or don't, and just be happy with where you're at. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? But if you're, if there's something, if there's an inkling, like there always has been for Anna and I, that there's something more to this thing we call life, other than paycheck to paycheck, right? <laughs> Sound familiar? Not enough uh, money at the end of the month, or barely. Um, you might want to push outside that box or consider it. So just some food for thought on this morning. This is Rick signing out from beautiful Palm Springs, California. See you soon.